Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is August 15th, 2018, and today is Wednesday morning. So as we get to the heart of the week, the economic news for today, starting out at 10.30 South African time out of United Kingdom, yearly CPI number coming out. That's core price index. That's a heavy inflation uh, data that's coming out. So just be aware of it. That's an important number that's coming out. We'll take a look at the GBP in just a moment. Then at 2.30 South African time out of United States, core retail sales coming out. And then at 4.30 South African time, weekly oil inventories numbers coming out. Now lots happening in the markets, gold breaking down, the dollar getting stronger across the board. And let's take a look at future opportunities for today. This conference will now be recorded. So we're initially taking a look at the euro usd and as you can see it's on its dead lows 113 22 ish level and breaking out lower from yesterday and this is really you know comes to show you that this has nothing to do with the turkish lira the turkish lira kind of you know got a little bit stronger the, over the last couple of days closing up its gap but here we're getting weaker across the board not just the euro the gbp and the aussie dollar just faltering against the dollar now they all look like very similar Grass. I mean, if we look at a daily chart, it's all-time lows for the year. Looking at a weekly chart, we can anticipate a bounce, possibly at 1250. Between now and 1250, I do expect some of us to get a little bit of a bounce. Now, I don't like to catch a falling knife, but so to speak, you know, right now, you know, we are after four bars, red bars on a weekly chart, you know, on the downside. So I would anticipate some sort of, you know, short covering at a certain point, especially if we get a positive number coming out of the GBP later today, if we take a look at the GBP right now, and this is a weekly chart, you can see that we're very close to a previous support, previous resistance. So I would say that, you know, I'm more inclined to think that we'll get that positive number and get that short squeeze. So Take a look at that as that unfolds later today. Now, jumping into the Aussie USD, also looking at a weekly chart, very similar, okay? Closing in on a previous support level, sub, somewhat of a previous resistance level. So let's see if we do get that, you know, that bounce later today, you know, that we we're so much, you know, anticipating because this is really falling out of bed against the dollar. Now, looking at the Turkish lira, you see that it's kind of, you know, settle down okay now i'm closing up this gap between you know seven and 645 ish level 640 ish level you know and finally settling in here between 647 now we're right between our two moving averages between the 30 day and the 14 day you know so nothing to really write home about but i do anticipate that this will continue to be volatile especially as the u.s you know is warning that it's going to increase some sort of sanctions on turkey on turkish imports into the united states so you know the news is still developing the news is still unfolding we still have to see how this unfolds in the market and how it affects the price of steel the price of aluminum and so on and so forth so lots happening here i just you know i would still recommend everybody to you know play it size it down a little bit because i do anticipate this will continue to be very volatile so beware you know as you're trading this later this week now jumping into the commodities we're looking here at gold gold just falling out of bed from 1200 ish level and this is what i mentioned to you yesterday and in the last couple of days that if we do get that break that we fall below 1206 1205 ish level we could see ourselves going down to 1187 1185 so i'm off by only two points here 1187 this morning and you know again we're closing in at a somewhat of a support level here so i wouldn't you know chase this down and start shorting it at this level but just be aware that this has been breaking down for some time already since we hit 1293 so this is over a 300 point retracement from our highs you know of even 1366 earlier in the year so you know you can see the weakness here um you know where it'll finally settle is still a big question but you know we do have a little bit of a support level at 1180 so that might be actually a place that we may bounce off of it so really great trade if you took our advice later earlier this week in shorting the price of gold now looking at the oil commodity we're in a bit of a seesaw ride between 67 and 66 ish level here you know and so we're between these two parameters you know and this has to break out on one way or another now opec is increasing their output and you know they keep on wanting to stabilize the price now we are getting to hurricane season you know early september late august ish area and that really affects the price of oil so nothing has really been reported yet so you know that usually 
it increases the price of oil because there's it, it disrupts the distribution of oil into the United States because most of it goes into the Gulf states. However, this still looks very, very weak. So, you know, ultimately, if input, if output, excuse me, is still increased, we could see a further correction in the price of oil, maybe to the 60 dollar ish level okay before then 64 or so, but it's still in relatively a tight range as we continue to trade now the dow jones yesterday rallying about 100 points and then you know selling off in after hours of you know 50 plus points now the markets are really very choppy right now and mostly because we are entering the major part of the earnings season in august walmart which is a very big retailer in the united states is you know coming out with earnings this week and some of the other amat applied materials, you know, several big stocks are coming out this week with earning reports. So the market is a little bit, you know, hesitant yet to take it up further higher, but it is closing up on its high side. Okay. So as long as we keep this 25, 200 ish level, I think that we'll continue trading between 25, 600 and 25,200. Now, you know, ultimately this time of the year, as we hit September, October, it's usually selling months, you know, usually months that the markets really sell off. But just, you know, if the markets are still hot and, you know, the major conglomerates like, you know, Google, like Apple, like Amazon is breaking out higher, that may carry the market even higher. So just be aware of that as that continues to trade. Now, if we look at the NASDAQ, you know, also the same story. It's a seesaw ride. However, we look at Amazon, all time highs, 1919 and just breaking out higher and not showing that it's, you know, having this massive sell off as you can see here that we had before. So, you know, a little bit of a mixed signal right now, okay, as to the direction of where we're going. Apple, as you can see, kind of flatlining here at its all time high. So not necessarily taking up higher, but not necessarily making a correction on the downside either. Now, if you jump into Tesla, we could see here that it's really selling off right now. 347-ish level, and we're hitting this support level right here. Now, if we do break this, we could see a correctional move on the downside, despite the fact that Elon Musk wants to, you know, privatize the company and buy it out at $420 a share. There's a lot he has to do between now and then, okay? So the market might correct itself with Tesla stock between now and then. So just be aware of that. If we do get that break at 347, that might be a really great trade on the downside. Now, look, Looking at Bitcoin, yesterday we mentioned this, that it looked like it was going to break the support level. It didn't. It held through. And if you were able to pick it up, good for you. We rallied nicely yesterday, as you can see here, off of our support level. And this is why it's so important to make these lines is because, you know, the market is looking at the same thing. All of us are looking at the same thing at the same time. So a nice bounce into Bitcoin. Let's see if we get that follow through back into the 66-ish 100-ish level, okay, as this has been correcting itself from 8,000 down to 6,000. So be aware of that later today as that continues to trade. This is Fred Razek. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.